What's going on guys? We just dropped version two of the Sharp Cart Filler. Today we're gonna to show you guys exactly what it is, the features of it, and how to use it so you guys can fill your cartridges, disposables, whatever you're filling with it to look great and filled the way you want it to be filled. So we're gonna unbox the cart filler. This on version two, we got three different models. So we've got a 50 mil, that can shoot in increments of one, two, three, four, and five mil. And we do have a 25 mil that is the regular one, same thing as last time. It could fill 0.51, 1.52, 2.5. And we do have a 25 mil that can fill 0.8 increments only. We don't have that right now today, but I wanna unbox these for you guys. They're gonna come saran wrapped, so. This is the box. Open this from the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys what comes with it. It's got a manual. In case you don't wanna watch the video and you wanna read, everything's on here, how to use it, all that. This is our socials. And this is the cart filler. So, as many of you guys know, the last time, the cart filler actually, it was a plastic handle. This time it's a silicone kind of handle. So it actually gives you more grip, better grip. And if you happen to get oil on your hands and you're touching the handle, whatever, you could just simply wipe, wipe it off with iso alcohol so it comes right off instead of like, you know, plastic, it's a little harder. Silicone, it's easier to get off. So this is another difference as well, is the tube. The version one tube was a glass and stainless steel mix. It had three different parts on it. This is just one entire piece. So this is literally just straight stainless steel. We've actually got it lab tested as well. This is the tube here. Just comes out, it's literally just one piece. We use the outer layer for the whole thing, but it's pretty much one piece. You can even unscrew this, but it's still, just one piece. It's not like the glass last time. The glass could come out and crack or anything like that. This is just straight one piece. It has been tested for heavy metals, passes heavy metals. If you guys are a licensed facility and you will be filling carts that, or products that will be tested using this, it will not contaminate any of your carts because uh, we actually had a licensed facility test them out, test their carts after, no issues. And we had this thing tested itself just alone and pass heavy metals test. So I'm gonna put this back on. This is an extra uh, O-ring in the middle for the pl plunger. This here is the heating element. So uh, this is the power cord to the heating element. You can adjust the temperature on here to whatever you want it set at. I'm gonna come back to that. This is the heating element that would go around your tube, just like that. And the reason you see this, this little black ring right here, that's actually to hold this in place. So if we were to slide this in, pop that inside it, all the way down, and then you can twist this, this side, to make it stay. And if that black ring wasn't there, this bottom part would be moving around, but it's not, it's pretty flush. So like, I wanna show you guys what it would be like without it. Just took that part off. If you're gonna put that on, screw this on tight, but you see how it's moving like that? That's why that black ring is in place. Come back to that. It will come with four different needles an 18 gouge needle, a 15, and two 14s. If you guys are filling Dissler or any thick material, highly recommend using a 14. 14 is great. Anything smaller, it's gonna be a little hard to kind of shoot out, but that's pretty much it. Same thing for the other two models. The 50 mil would be just a 50 mil tube. Everything else comes with it. The 0.8s, the only thing the 0.8s cannot do 
is one and a half increments. The only thing point X could do is 0.8 increments, but it is a 25 milliliter tube. Comes with everything you see here, and that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the heating element. If you wanna use it, this is what we're gonna do. You would simply plug it in. And guys, be careful, cause this piece does get hot. You simply plug it in. Turn it on. This light pops up. You can connect this piece in just like that. To disconnect it, you do have to push and then pull it. So now that it's plugged in, it reads, this is supposed to heat up to 66 degrees. These do heat up pretty fast. So I would not recommend leaving this around anywhere where it could get too hot and damage something or burn someone or something. So you can just simply put this on just like that. It's climbing temperature. So if you wanna set the temperature, you're going to hit set and then you can, so it could go up to 190, actually even more. I believe it's 196. So 213 is the max. I highly do not recommend putting it to 213. Uh, that's over boiling point. If you are filling carts, distillate, um, live rosin, resin, whatever you want to do, I would recommend setting it at, I would say stick between 125 up to 140 degrees, whatever you guys are comfortable with. And you just hit set and it should be up at that and this thing will be heating up. It's actually getting pretty warm right now. So it'll heat up to the 130. So it's at 113 right now. Slowly getting in there. I recommend you guys do not put distillate or any of your material inside the tube if it's not liquidy. You obviously have to heat it up still. We've got our distillate here right now. It's getting spun on a magnetic stir. If you guys are not, if you see how uh, it's almost like water because we heated it up that much. We don't want to put super thick material in here because just like anything else, if it's not hot enough, it's going to clog. It's going to cause issues. You want to have a very, very easy flow of filling carts. And the best thing to do it is just to make it as liquidy as possible. Stick it in your gun and shoot it as fast as you possibly can with being accurate. And obviously the more liquidy it is, the more accurate the cart gun is. Because if you're filling super, super thick distal, you didn't even warm it up. It's barely, you're going to shoot it and it's barely going to come out and it's going to slowly come out and it's just going to take a long time. And another thing too, stainless steel is a great thing to hold heat. So if you guys are fast enough at moving, you know, I wouldn't even recommend this. If you're a facility and you want to bang out as many cars, as many disposables, as many as anything you want, I would not recommend using this. I would simply get it up to, to a good enough degree. Would you put your turps in there, whatever. And we're going to show you guys in a minute how we can do it. I'm not going to show you guys with this. We've already explained this, so it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to put this to the side. We're going to use a 14 size needle. You simply just put it on, screws just like that, and you're good to go. So this is a brand new tube. Just want to test it out, make sure everything is good to go. The last tube we would recommend to unscrew this tube and fill your oil inside the tube. This one, you can backfill. So it's a lot faster, it's a lot easier. So we can simply just, we're gonna shoot, these are one mil cards. Just put this in there. We're gonna turn the spin off and you're literally just gonna pull this plunger all the way back. And you're gonna click on it, make sure it's locked in. Turn that back on and we're just gonna straight shoot these carts. One full click is whatever you're clicking. So this is a one. So one full click is filling a one. You want to get your needle kind of down in there to make sure you get the needle all the way in and you're filling all the way to the bottom of the cart. So this tube here, because this is obviously hot, this is getting a little hot. So if you're not using the heating element, you know, 
Watch your finger on this tube. And keep in mind, this slit will go down. It does get sucked into the cotton. So when you fully squeeze it, as you can see, it goes down back into the cart. And these can really fill pretty much whatever you guys want. Live rosin, live resin, it's going down. And you guys wanna pretty much shoot it as fast as you can. We've actually timed these when we were testing these the other day. Uh, my fastest run on these, I believe it was three minutes and 45 seconds on a full 100. That was with this already ready to go. So you guys get the program, you know. We're gonna go ahead and fill the other side for you guys. Remember, push this down before you pull the plunger back. You're gonna turn the distillate down. Just pull that back. Click the trigger. Once you see the plunger button pop up and you guys are set to go, be careful on the tube. If your oil is hot and you're not filling without a heating element, it will be hot as well. So one trigger, one pull on the trigger is one mil is what we're on. Just like that. It's that easy. Run it through the tube, soak it, clean it off with the cloth, inside and out. You wanna kinda go pull the plunger back and forth before just to kinda make sure you get all your distillate out. And just to show you guys. It's filled carts. One mil, whatever increment you guys want. You would go on the other side. They fill pretty accurately all the way to the top. Put your cap on there. You're all set. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram.